In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. A Mandalorian helmet using cardboard only. I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. This is the way. No, no, BB-8, wait! I was just talking for the viewers! Hey, I'm Raphael. I work in the movie industry as a professional steady camera operator, but I also have an unusual skill. I make man brain props for movies like this using only cardboard, and I show you how to do this. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a very accurate Mandalorian helmet using only cardboard, paper, glue, and a few simple tools. But hey, at any point during this tutorial, don't forget to check out the notes and links in the description box below. I list all the tools and products that I use, as well as some additional resources, and of course, all templates that you need to make this helmet yourself at home. But before diving into the tutorial, the shout out of the week. I want to shout out the comments and YouTube channel of the week. Thank you so much for leaving this comment on my previous video and for supporting the channel. The second one is our Instagram profile of the week. Thank you so much for sharing my previous video in your Instagram story. It's truly appreciated and honestly makes my day when I see you guys watching my videos and sharing them in real time. Now, if you want to be featured in my next video, you can do one of the following two things. Number one, leave a comment below on this video. Or number two, screenshot this video and share it in your Instagram story. Just don't forget to tag me. Now let's dive right into the video. The first thing to do is cutting the patterns using the scissors like this. And transfer all of them on your pieces of cardboard. Glue them lightly with a regular paper glue stick. and transfer all the edges using a pencil, that way. Pay attention to transfer all the lines and the numbers as well. Next, cut out all the pieces using a precision knife. Don't forget that you'll find all the tools and products that I use in the description box below. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. Glue the back and front pieces together that way. To do that, I used a 15 watt hot glue gun. Cut and glue these three pieces on the lines here, following the number order. and do the same for the templates number 4 to 14.
So the idea for this build is to glue the pieces together following the number order as they are shown on the patterns. If you do that and if you cut the pieces from my patterns quite accurately, you'll be okay. To make the structure sturdier, cut small pieces of cardboard and glue them between the elements in the middle here. Next, using very thin cardboard, like the letter format you receive from Amazon for the small item, for instance, cut out several small pieces from it. and glue all of them on the structure. First, smash them slightly with your fingers, apply glue on them, and cover the entire surface of it, that way. You can also apply the glue directly on the structure to make the connection more efficient. Also, not to have gaps between the pieces, pay attention to overlap them slightly. in order to have something that looks like this. Cut out these two pieces, destroy lightly the corrugations to make it more flexible, close these two notches using hot glue, in order to have a light curve here. And glue it below on both sides at the back of the structure over here. Then, as you've done for the top, cover the rest of it with thin pieces of cardboard. In order to have something that looks like this. And then remove what exceeds from the edges here, 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 and here. Next, using sandpaper, sand all the edges to make the surface of the helmet as smooth as possible. Don't be afraid if big chunks of cardboard are removed during the process. That's normal and all of it will be covered later in this tutorial anyway. Don't forget that all the templates that you need to do this build are in the description box below, as well as the tools and products that I use. Cut these three pieces from the same thin cardboard that you used before to cover the helmet. Glue them together that way. Then color the surface of it with a black marker. Define the middle of it. and glue the piece in the middle on the front of the helmet and glue it at about 5 mm from the edge cut out these pieces, glue them together that way and glue them in the front of the helmet here aligning this end with the middle here and flush with this edge. Then, 
then glue this part here. And do the same for the opposite side. Then cut out the pieces from the template number 18 and glue all of them on top of each other following the number order. Close the remaining opening on the bottom and remove what exceeds. Then make another one the same way but flip the pieces number one, two and three. and glue them on the sides of the helmet here. Now, in order to make the helmet wearable, cut out and remove most of the structure from the inside. Question of the day, what is your favorite character from The Mandalorian show? Let me know in the comment section below. Next, from the same cardboard you used to cover the top and the back of the helmet, cut pieces like this and glue them in the front openings that way. and glue the third one on the top here. And of course, do the same for both sides. Next, use a thin grey cardboard to cut the pieces number 4 and 5. Usually, several boxes are a good fit as they are most of the time grey in the inside. But try to remove the patterns as much as you can to make the surface of it more suitable for the glue. Cut six pieces number four and glue them on top of each other. Next, define the middle of the back of your helmet, make a small mark with a pencil and glue the piece right in the middle here. From the same cardboard, cut six pieces number five like this one and glue all of them in the opening here. Next, cut the pieces from the templates number 20. Glue this one on the top front of the helmet right in the middle here. And glue a second one at the end of it on the back. And remove what exceeds to make it fit. Glue 
glue the piece number 1B on top of it in the front here, but pay attention to put the end of it a little bit forward on the front here. The same way glue the number 1A on the back. Remove what exceeds. The same way glue the piece number 2B on the front, but pay attention to position it a little bit back. The same way glue the piece number 2A on the back. And at last, glue the two pieces number 3 in the middle of it here. To have at the end something that looks like this. Next, make a mix of white glue and water. and soak in it pieces of cardboard paper. The same one you usually receive within your Amazon deliveries, for instance. And apply them on the entire construction, that way. Also, if you feel like you could use more extended visuals about a specific step that I might show a little bit too fast, I want to let you know that I also recorded the entire construction from start to finish and I made a very long timeless video available for the members of this channel down in the description box below. Next, using the reference pictures that you'll find in the description box below with the template, carve slightly a few lines on the top using a precision knife. Next, using a pencil, draw a line that reaches both sides of the helmet here. Then carve the line with your precision knife. And widen the opening with a small tool. Next, apply two layers of glossy varnish on the entire construction. Next, using the reference pictures, draw a thick line on both sides here. And cut slightly the edges of it with a precision knife. And, using a small tool, push the middle of it in the inside slightly that way. in order to have a design that looks like this. And of course, do the same on the opposite side. Next, using a sharp tool, make several holes at eye level for you to be able to see through it. Pretty cool, isn't it? And quite sturdy too, actually. So all you need to make this helmet yourself at home is this tutorial and the templates that you find in the description box below. But if you are interested in watching the full build from start to finish, click here to become a member of the channel and you get access to a several hours long timeless video that shows everything from A to Z. Also, check out this video right here if you want to see more of the crazy stuff that I make out of cardboard. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget there is something awesome in your cardboard boxes.